Micro die helmets, getting rid of your mushroom head. For the background, got myself Row King Special, no windshield. Always rode that Joker with my Shoei RSFR helmet without a windshield. Just straight on. That helmet is for cutting through wind. Perfect. Problem I have in Road King Special is it's you're just you're up straight. So this whole chunky butt right here, chunky front, acts like a parasail. So I did what every other American would do. Bought myself a Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. Unfortunately, that fairing does not work well with Shoei RFSR. RF, RF, RS? Helmet. Mm -mm. The whip coming off the top of that windshield on that thing is ba -ba 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 -ba. like that at 60 miles an hour and up. No high, side to side, none of that. Just straight beating the crap out of my dome. Six foot two. Long story short, start looking for low profile helmets. Start looking for half helmets. In Florida, there is no helmet law, but I still want something to be protected if I get rear-ended at a red light. Gentlemen, it's, it's just, say what you want to say about full face, half helmet, whatever. That's not what the story is about here. This story about here, no. What this story here is about is the micro dot helmets. Oh yeah. So, found that there was an actual helmet shop in, near me, went down. Tried on a bunch of half helmets that stated they are the slimmest DOT half helmets on the market. Boy, were they wrong. Mushroom, oh my god. Daytona Helmets is one of the companies that say they got the thinnest, slimmest, blindest helmet. I put that thing on, man. I, it was kind of like, look, I was looking down while I was peeing in the urinal. I look like a straight duck head. Mm mm mm. Tried a bunch of other no-name brands over there, and every single one that I put on that was DOT rated literally stuck out this far. It was mushroom tip. Mm -mm. Did a bunch of research, come across this company called Micro Dot Helmets. Don't know much about the company other than when they say they have the slimmest line helmet, they ain't lying. And here it is. This is the Micro Dot twister 2.0 it's got a brim it's reversible where they've set up the straps it's in the middle you get the twister 2.0 has the dot sticker in the back if your state requires it my state doesn't require it doesn't matter to me i kind of wish it was just blacked out but whatever twister 2.0 for oval domes if you got a round dome it's the blister 1.0, 2.0, or 360, whichever one you want. If you don't like this, they have the blister. And even if you are an oval, you can still get it. You'll probably have the size up and you'll have pressure points in the front and the back. Uh, if you're a round dome and you try to get this one because you like it, you'll have pressure points on the left and right. Just try it out. Measure your head. He's got videos on how to measure his head. By the way, Micro Dot has no idea who the hell Cactical Main is. They don't. So, if you buy something, put a shout out there. Say, hey, Cactical Main sent me. And they'll be like, who the heck is this Cactical Main dude? Anywho, bought this helmet full price. I wear it this way. quick release on this is something 
that is actually pretty amazing. Um, still getting used to it. Still trying to find the, the little the tab to pull it up. But, eh, you know, I got it. It's not rocket science. All I have to say is if you're looking for a true DOT half helmet and you don't want to look like a daggone mushroom, give Microdot a try. Again, they have no idea who the heck Cactical Main is. But if enough of you guys out there riding, right in, in there that Cactical Main sent you, then he, he, well, he's definitely going to be like, who the heck is Cactical Main? What is a Cactical Main? Hell, I don't even know what a Cactical Main is. Other than an American 11 song bitch. Gentlemen, is extremely comfortable sizing is dead ass on. Again, know your head shape. If it's an oval or if it's around some great measure, measure with a piece of wire and lay it down on the measuring tape if you don't have, you know, a, a soft tape to go around your head. Measure it. I think I was, I think it was like 22 and a half or 23 and a half, somewhere around. This is a large. I was right at the measurement for large, ordered large. Box came in, it was tiny, I pulled it out. I'm like, oh, this tiny thing ain't gonna fit on my grape. I snuck her on and she fit perfect. All right, gentlemen, that's it. Micro dot. If you are looking for a no mushroom head DOT certified helmet, half helmet, here you go. They got the Twister 2.0, the Twister 1.0, the Twister 360, the Blister, the Blister 2.0, Blister 360. Thank you for stopping. Thank you for stopping by Cactical Main. If you want to support the channel, click on one of the affiliate links in the description down below. Uh, helps me out. Helps me get more. Um, doesn't help with pow pow pew pews anymore with the price that that's going. Uh, but you never know. It might help with some motorcycle gear. Might bring some motorcycle videos if y'all are interested. That's to my subscribers. I will see you in the next video, dudes.